This is Jared, and this is 8th grade, and this is my science project for 2009. Ready to start? <clears throat> okay. And my hypothesis is can rats power a light bulb? And my products are, most of it's from Home Depot, and the, oops. <clears throat> anyway, that we got this long piece of metal from Home Depot, and our neighbor welded it right here. So we put this through the rat cage, my my pet rats, and we we put the magnets inside here with the foil inside of it, and uh, you can make a simple, easily box. And the wire came from Radio Shack, coated painted Radio Shack, with a 1.5 volt tiny little light bulb. And you put the magnets through here, four magnets with foil inside the middle. Maybe make sure there's wire, I mean, make sure the um. The rod fit through here. Yeah. Make sure you get it through there. Put it through. You have it through the cage, and there's holes in it. And you put this on the wheel. Where'd the wheel come from? Home Depot. The metal. Okay. The so, metal wheel. So the neighbor helped us by welding the long metal stick to the wheel, right? Yes. Okay. And this double-sided um, tape to make it traction so then it could spin because you can't have smooth with smooth because it'll just slide right off. You can't spin it at all. And when the rat's spinning, the light bulb will go on. And that, yeah. And then we tried it with this plastic glued pipe in the middle where the magnets go in here and they spin and the wire goes around here it didn't work so what were some of the because we had a hard time getting it to work yep. what what were some of the <clears throat> oh yeah or, or tips make that you could make sure get you take a knife and c scratch out the paint so if you all, all the wire is not long enough, so you have to have, you have to twist it all together and make sure you skin all the paint off and twist it all together like this. When you, when you combine two spools of wire, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Because that's more than one spool. There's like four spools of wire and there's like four of these. So when you connect up. two of them together, <clears throat> you have to strip off the enamel. It took us like two hours to figure out the problem. And we took out this little tool thingy thing. of bobbers. You should know. A multimeter. Make sure that you. You do that. The two wires. Make sure that you have a complete circuit. With a complete circuit inside of it. You can hear the beep. You'll hear the beep. That means you got a complete circuit. Okay, so it works. Now what? Then, once you're finally done with all the circuits and everything, you move it and you take it, put it through the cage, not with this on it, take yep. this off, I'll, I'll spin. and then you hold this part, then when the rat spins on it, it won't spin in like this. So you have to keep the box steady. Yes. Because the goal is for the magnets inside this and spin. To spin, which creates an invisible, invisible energy called flux. Oh yeah, flux. Got that word. Here, watch. I'll just show you this. This hole right here. It goes through this hole, spinning it, 
that you put this thing on. Come on, Granny. Come on, Bider, that makes me bleed. Oh, now you don't want to cry, huh? Well, the rats don't want to run on it right now. You can always do it right now. I just love watching this spin. See if there's a complete circuit in it. Dad, Dad, quit it! Why don't do nothing? Okay, ready? <clears throat> Not pretty much in. Dad! And that, now I'm just confused, Mom. That pretty much sums up. I don't know what that means, so. I don't have to know what it means to say it. That pretty much sums up the experiment. So here, it. now you can see it in action.